Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I have a project to share with you featuring the Framed Florets Bundle. So this is actually an early release of product that is featured in the upcoming uh, January through May? <laughs> mini catalog I can't remember the months but the spring mini catalog that's coming up in January so this was released early so I'm going to share a project with you featuring this bundle which when you purchase the bundle which is the stamp set with the coordinating dies you save uh, 10% but this is the stamp set and you guys have seen me make uh, several projects actually featuring this stamp set so if you missed those projects go back through my channel um, and check those out. I've got several ideas for you featuring this set. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to share a uh, gift packaging idea with you today featuring this stamp set as well as um, the coordinating uh, fitting florets designer series paper that is while supplies last I checked before filming this video and the, the designer paper was still available But I'm gonna feature that designer paper in today's video as well So a few weeks ago actually last month uh, in November I shared this card with you featuring the framed florets bundle and um, Malachi his teacher uh, Her birthday is next week and then the assistant director at his school her birthday is next week as well so when you're seeing this video, it's actually the week of their birthday, but I wanted to give each of them um, this card design, so I have two of these. So I'm gonna give these as their birthday cards, and then I wanted to give them just something small, simple, and sweet as a birthday gift. So I found these little candles at World Market. They were super affordable, only $3.99. It's a nice, heavy glass. Uh, they smell amazing. I wish you could smell them. So this one is Bamboo Blossom. Oh God, it smells so good. This one's my favorite. Um, and then this is Magnolia Peony. They had so many different ones. So I'm giving the Magnolia Peony to his teacher because I felt like this one matched her personality. And then I'm giving the Bamboo Blossom to the assistant director because I know she loves green and I thought this smell um, matched her. <laughs> so these are the candles. And then this is the box that I created. So I actually used the reverse side of this designer series paper. I used the reverse um, for the box and I wanted to create a belly band that um, just would slip right off of the box um, so that they didn't have to tear the decoration up. Um, and this box, these are the retired shipping boxes that Stampin' Up! had, um, the mini shipping boxes. These are still on the clearance rack. And every time I place a Stampin' Up! order, I order a package of these, you guys. I have so many packages of them, it's ridiculous. But they're $2 on the clearance rack. Uh, and you get eight in a package. So I've got tons of these, and they hold so many different things. And these little candles fit perfectly inside of these little boxes. So I'll just show you. I've already got his teacher's in this box so fit so perfect so anyways I'm gonna show you how uh, to decorate and wrap this little box up so let's get started oh and I'll just show you how easy it is to slip this back on so just get the box back in there and voila super easy very very cute super easy okay so let's get started all right let me go ahead and get my box out and my designer paper and I'm just gonna build this little box up so all I do is just kind of fold carefully on the little score lines just to kind of help everything fit together a little bit easier all right so what I'm going to do is the box is actually supposed to close like this. This is supposed to be the bottom of the box where you tuck the, that piece in and then you fold this in, right? I don't like this being the top. I think it just looks weird as the top of the box. I prefer this to be the top. I just like, I just think it's a cleaner way to open the box. So I always make this the top of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add some adhesive onto the back of these long rectangular flaps and I'm gonna make this the bottom of my box. So I've got my seal plus and I'm actually going to put my adhesive all the way across. Now that is going to leave adhesive ex exposed on the inside of the box, but we're going to fill the inside with some, um, oh, what do you call that stuff? 
crinkle. We're gonna fill the inside with crinkle. So it's actually okay if um, the adhesive shows because it'll help keep that crinkle um, in place inside of the box. So I'm actually okay with that. All right, so I've got my adhesive. And then what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and seal up or close up the top just so I can sit this flat on my desk. And then I'm gonna fold in the smaller um, rectangles and then I'll fold over the larger ones and just make sure that everything's lined up. Okay, just like that. Looks good. Okay. And then, oh, come on. Let me open it up. Just open it up and press those flaps in. Okay. All right, that looks good. And you can see that adhesive is showing, right? You see that inside. So what we're gonna do, whoops, that just fell out. I'm gonna add a little bit of crinkle. It just fell out of the bag, but you might remember this. This crinkle is actually from, oh my gosh, several years ago, uh, Stampin' Up had this crinkle available. And it came in silver. Um, oh gosh, what was that, Berry Burst? Was that the name of the color? Berry Burst, I think? And then came in vanilla. Um, but I still have. <laughs> some of it left and I use this stuff all the time. Okay, so just put some crinkle inside. Get my little candle, lay that in there and then I'm gonna put more crinkle all around it just to kind of prevent it from doing too much rolling around. You guys, I'm so excited to give these gifts. I mean, this is one thing I love about um, stamping and creating is being able to make little treats and gifts and goodies for people. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good to give to others. You know, even if it's something small like a $3.99 candle, it just feels good to give. It feels so good. All right, so I'm pleased with that. I think it's it's nice and tucked in. So I'll go ahead and close my box up and it's so cute, oh my gosh. And actually, before we do the rest, I wanna go ahead and stamp, because we're gonna color with our Stampin' Blends, so I wanna go ahead and um, get that stamped so that the ink can dry. So when you're using your blends, you want to uh, stamp in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let me just ink this up. So this is the one of the floral images from the Framed Florets stamp set. I actually haven't used the other image um, from that stamp set yet. The other little flower image. Okay, that looks good. So I'm just gonna let that dry um, while we wrap the box. So I know I didn't zoom you guys in for the stamping, but I'll zoom you in for the coloring with the blends. But let's go ahead and wrap our box. So I've got, um, like I said, a piece of the Fitting Florets Designer Series paper. This is cut four inches by 12 inches. And I'm not going to do specific scoring. I'm actually just gonna wrap it around the box, pinch on all of the um, sides or the edges, pinch, and then we'll give it a nice tight crease with the bone folder. So I'm gonna flip it over to the um, other side so that um, the side that I want on the outside is face down. And I'm just gonna put the designer paper about halfway across the bottom of the box and then I'll start folding on the sides. So I think that, oops, I think that looks good. So I'll just start wrapping and then just kind of pinch along the edges. Okay. And just keep going. Pinch along the edge and then wrap and pinch along the edge. Okay. So just like that. So now we've got all of this, you know, pinching. So then we can come in 
with your bone folder and you can actually give a crease at those pinches. I didn't actually pinch that piece very well, so I hope I just creased it at the right spot. I think I did. And then just crease on the pinch. And you can use this um, pinch pinch and crease idea for wrapping, you know, any size box. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my designer paper and I'm gonna add some um, adhesive onto the smallest rectangle. So this one, and I'll just add some adhesive just along this very bottom edge of the smallest rectangle. That's it, that's all the adhesive we need because remember, we want this to be able to just slide right off of the box. There we go. Um, okay, so I removed the backing off of that um, tear and tape and what I'm going to do, is I'll just tip my box upside down and I'll wrap the short edge around the, sh the short flap around the bottom of the box. And then let me just line everything up. Oh, I did get a little bit off on that crease. I see now I didn't do my pinching on that one crease and it did kind of throw off a little bit of the bottom, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pull it as tight as I can. So just make sure you pinch really, really well when you're going around, because then you'll get your creases right. But you won't be able to tell that I didn't get the crease right. Okay. So there we go, look at that, isn't that cute? So I'm doing the simplest coloring with my blends um, for this box, and I'm really not even doing any blending. I'm literally just coloring. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the dark and light shade of um, Night of Navy. I'm gonna start with the light shade, and I'm just going to color in these flowers in the light shade of Night of Navy. Not blending, just coloring. And that's the great thing about the Stampin' Blends is you don't have to use them like that. You can use them just as coloring markers. One. Then I'm going to come in with the dark and all I want to do is just color this center part on both flowers. I thought that would look so pretty, just having that centerpiece be dark and everything else be light. I think it's so pretty. Look at that, look how pretty that looks. And then I'm gonna color everything else in the dark shade of polished pink. Now this was my first time to use my polished pink Stampin' Blend and whoa, this is bright. I mean, it's beautiful, but I wasn't expecting it to be quite this bright. But oh, doesn't it look gorgeous with the Knight of Navy? So pretty. Ooh, that's pretty.
Okay, so there is our image all colored in. It's absolutely gorgeous. And actually what I'm gonna do really quickly, um, I need a circle cut out of here so that we can stamp the sentiment. I'm going to die cut that really, really quickly. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do all of our die cutting. Okay, so I've just got my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine here. I'm gonna leave you guys zoomed in. Will this fit through? It will not, which I thought would happen. Okay, I'll just cut that down and I hear Malachi crying. I was hoping I could get through this video um, during his nap, but I may have waited too long. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this circle out of basic white. So this circle is from the um, uh, layering circle dies. All right, so I used some washi tape to add my uh, die around my flower, and I forgot to tell you the sandwich for die cutting with the mini. So I've got plate number one, plate number two, which is a cutting plate. Then I've got a scrap piece of um, balmy blue cardstock, and I'm going to die cut this little intricate um, leafy bit. So there we go, and finish it up with another cutting plate. And oh, come on. Okay, it did not like that I had cardstock hanging over the edge, so I had to, oh, I had to cut that piece off, and there we go. <laughs> okay, so everything's die cut. Now, on my um, circle here, I'm just going to line everything up before I stamp, just so that I know exactly where to stamp. So I want this piece to go there, and then I want this piece right about there. So I've got Knight of Navy ink. For my sentiment, I'm going to stamp for a special person on a special day. This is also the sentiment I'm gonna put inside of the cards. Okay. see all right so I'll just stamp that right there just like that and I got a little bit of the O on the flower but the same thing actually happened on my original and I just made sure that when I glued this down I lined it up and you can't even tell so I'll do the same thing for this one all right so I've got my stamp and seal so let's just add a little bit here Put our beautiful balmy blue leafy image. I think this image is so pretty. Let's just put that right there. And then I'll just add a little bit of adhesive just along the bottom of this. And then I'm gonna line up that spot where I got the O in there. I'm just gonna line it up on the project so that you can't even tell. Right about there looks good. Okay, and then we'll do dimensionals on the back of this. Love dimensionals. I don't think I've ever made a project where I didn't use dimensionals. Malachi's dad went and got him since he was up from his nap and they are being so loud so his dad's office is across the hall from mine but I even have a towel at my door like under it to muffle the sound but it's still so loud there and there <laughs> being so loud um okay so I took my backings off of my dimensionals oh isn't this so pretty you guys so I'm just gonna put this right here on the center of my box very simple decoration but it's so so cute. And then to finish the um, box up, I actually pulled out the 2021-2023 in color opal rounds. So these are the 2021-2023 um, in color. So uh, pale papaya, fresh freesia, polished pink, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. And I pulled in the polished pink. It's actually, I feel like a lighter shade of what the actual colors look like, but uh, I'm just going to grab a large one. Might need to update my putty here. There we go. Put a large one there. Then do small and 
small. And there you have it. That is the finished box. I think it's so cute. And I just really hope his teachers enjoy it. Very simple way to um, decorate these little mini shipping boxes. And you guys get over there to the clearance section, grab these two dollars. <laughs> you just can't beat that price. And you can really fit a lot of different treats inside. Uh, so I love it. I hope they enjoy these. And then of course, this will be the card to go along with it. And I just think it's a sweet little gift. So anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope that this isn't like a 25 minute tutorial because I feel like I've been on here talking forever. But I hope that you enjoyed. And the measurements will um, be over on today's blog post as well as all of the supplies that I used. Everything's linked down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I appreciate you guys more than you could ever know. And I hope you have a great day and stay tuned because I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.